Hello, sisters and brothers. This is Talk Black to Me, and I'm your host, Sister Freedom, and I have pleasure this evening. I have ISUPK here. Mm -hmm. That's correct. We're going to be nice to each other tonight. <laughs> That's correct. We're going to talk softly to each other tonight. <laughs> I want y'all to introduce yourselves. Okay. All right. Well, I'm General Hazayan of the ISUPK. Captain Akata Barayan with the ISUPK. Officer Tazaiwan, ISUPK. And why y'all here in Wilmington? We here in Wilmington to bring the truth to God's chosen people who are black, Hispanic, Native Indians. To dispel the lies and the myths and to raise up these tribes of the nation of Israel like God told us to. Okay. So you're here to bring the truth. That's and correct. And what are you saying the truth is? The truth is this, that there are particular people on the earth, mm -hmm. right? And those people on earth mm -hmm. have not been told their true identity and not been told and shown who they are. A lot of lies, a lot of myths surrounding these people. These people are black people, so-called, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Indians. And these people compromise or make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel or well, when people in the Bible, they call Hebrew Israelites. Okay, so you came to tell us that we are Hebrew Israelites, right? We came to tell you not only that you're Hebrew Israelites, and that because that's our heritage mm -hmm. and where we come from, that we have to live a certain way and act a certain way that come from our, our Lord and Savior, you understand? And for us to change our condition, that has to be done first. We can't, we can't, go further or we can't, uh, what's the best word I'm looking for? We can't have a future really without knowing where we come from. Okay, and where did you get this information from? From the most selling book on the earth that everybody tried to dispel or discredit from the Bible. We get it from archeology, span mm -hmm. we get it from history those things out there prove everything that's said in the scriptures in the Bible. Okay. I'm just making sure that, okay, when you say that you, explain something to me why I've always had an issue. What do uh, you think God is? What are you saying that God is? What do you mean? Tell what you do you God. look at God as? Um, do you look at, because see, me for instance, mm -hmm. I give for instance, I look at God as a title. Mm -hmm. Okay, as for a position. Mm -hmm. Are you, do you look at God the same way? Okay. Let me make sure I understand what you're saying so I can answer you correctly. Mm -hmm. You want to know how we view the Lord or how we view God, right? Yeah. That what you're saying? How, how we do view you him? view the word oh, right. God? Okay. God is our Father. Mm -hmm. That's a man, up on, uh, as a man that sits on the throne of the heavens. That's how we view him. Okay, so... Just to make sure, because I, I I know you're saying that you want to tell the truth to the people, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to make sure that I don't say anything wrong to offend you in any kind of way. Because you got tough skin, sis. Okay, because I'm I'm a skin. very open person. I've been through mm -hmm. all the schools. Okay. Okay, so what I'm saying is, when you say God is our Father, so mm -hmm. if you have a father, then you also have a mother, correct? Mm-hmm. On the earth, we do. Okay, so let me make sure I got this right mentally. We have a God where, and then where's mom? I think, I think best way for me to explain it is that if I say this to you, and I think I see where you're going, right? We have, according to the scriptures, you okay. know, everything we do and what we say, we reference from the Bible. The scriptures state that we have a father in heaven. We also got a physical father here on earth. Okay. Like how I was born was born from my mother and my father. Right, so, so which would be actually father. your creators. Yeah, my physical father. You understand? Father my makes, mom father. creates. Yeah, you understand? Right, I'm, I'm, so now, okay. with that being said, we have a spiritual father which is in heaven, who is the Most High. Yahweh in the Hebrew. All right? I hear your God. You want to say something? Lost it. Okay. It's, it's cool. I'm just, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just Trying making sure. I'm, no, I want to overstand. I understand because that understand. means you can tell me anything and I'll accept it. Okay. What I'm saying is you said that you're here to make sure that you tell our people the truth. Mm -hmm. Mainly what you're trying to tell them is what our heritage, where our heritage come from, correct? That's correct. Even though that there were many 
tribes. So how do you distinguish? You you just can't. I'm I'm wondering how are you saying that we are Israel? Are you saying Israelites are Hebrews? That's that's correct. It's the same. Israelite and Hebrews one and the same. Okay. We so, get Hebrew from our forefather Eber. You understand? And we get Israel from Jacob. Jacob comes from the same bloodline as Eber. Which takes from Eber, goes up to you're Abraham. You're talking about Abraham, right? It goes from Eber, from Eber to Abraham, from Abraham up to Jacob. That same bloodline, that same lineage. We get Hebrew from Eber, and we get Israel from a man named Jacob. Okay. All right. I'm just making sure we're on the same page because I don't want to confuse anybody. Come so on, God on. is in heaven, mm -hmm. okay, which is so-called our father, which mm -hmm. I, personally I cannot see how we have a father without mom. Mm -hmm. I mean, that scientifically doesn't even make sense to me. But I know this is more of, of a religious type talk, so I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Let me correct you now if I could, please. One yes. Second. Not religious. I hear people say religion or religious, I mean, they try to title or use the ISCPK of the Hebrew Israelites. It's not a religion. It's not. It's not a religion. What this is, and what we teach, all the laws, the statutes, commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. That's it. Right. Religion, that title means to separate, to oppress, keep us apart. That's not what we do. Mm -hmm. That book called the Bible is designed to bring that nation back together again. Right. Okay. And, and I can whole. understand that because what you're saying is, the concepts and parables that's in the Bible are good advice. Is that what you're saying? It's good advice. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you one more. It's wisdom for us. Right. It, it's like different stories. Like, um, um, just and anybody could jump in when they want. Like, mm -hmm. for instance, everything has a representation. Uh, like a tree represents a nation. Leaves represent people. Fruit represents wisdom and knowledge. The snake represented a tribe. Adam and Eve, the two made people, you know, let us make man our own image. We artificially made them. And is that what you said? Like, like the Bible gives you for instances, like, uh, it's like, a, if somebody make up a story mm -hmm. and tell you, um, this is what happened because Trina did this, what, you know, this, what, what happened if you do this, like if you mm -hmm. disobey your parents, mm -hmm. this type of thing will happen. Is that what you saying? Like the Bible is some, what, somewhat like that. Let me take you back a little bit on what you said. Mm -hmm. To one thing you said about Adam and Eve and making them in their own image, right? Mm -hmm. There's a big misconception that Adam and Eve were the first people on earth. Oh, you know? I already know yeah, that's they not were true. Not. They were not. They right? the making of the white people, but go ahead. They, they were not. Um, they were not the first people on earth. Mm -hmm. Adam was just the brother who the most I gave his knowledge on the earth to. Brother you know meaning saying? black or white? He was a brother. He was a black man. He was he, not a white man. What? Let me, let me, let me, let me dispel one quick thing. There's nobody in the Bible, in the scriptures, in the records of Hebrew Israelites that's ever been white. Everybody has been people of color. Everybody, including Adam. You understand? Everybody's been people of color. You got to excuse me because of all the different teachings that I have. I, I tried to make sure that when someone is saying something to me, I can mm -hmm. understand what they're saying. Understand. Because it, it, if you just if you just say certain things to me, I don't want the listening audience or myself to be confused. Mm -hmm. I know that y'all have a lot of knowledge, and I've heard um, you speak on some things that, uh, you know, I'm trying to make sure I understand. And I do try my hardest to give respect to all of the different ways of life, mm -hmm. you, you know. So I don't want you to think that I'm being rude or anything. I just want to make sure that if I'm not saying something right from your teachings, mm -hmm. that it's explained to the listening audience how you, you know what I'm saying, yeah. how you grab things. Because in my teaching, it was the making of the white man. Yeah, that's you know, fine. in my teachings, that's because, fine. you know, it, it just, from where it starts and where it ends, that's where I got it from. I you know what I mean? Let me give you an example. Um, I've heard that as well. You as have far heard as, that. Uh, the people in the Bible were white or the teachings came from white men. Everybody knew was, I've heard a lot of things growing up. And they up. may not even have been, yeah. there were some type of creatures. But when I got into the ISUPK and the Commander General Yohanna, mm -hmm. I found out the truth. We actually went in a book and dispelled that, that myth. That's number one. To be able to bring forth the truth, you got to kill the lie. And the lie of the myth that this is a white man's book, or either created by white people, or the people in there were white people, were just dispelled right away. Okay. The first thing I learned. 
And then by learning that, I said, okay, well, now I can really relate to what the book is because these people are like me. Right. I don't believe that it's a white man's book. I don't. Mm -hmm. I believe that a white man plagiarized the, inf plagiarized the information and put it back in the book, but I don't believe it's his information. Okay. I mean, what I'm saying is I believe that it's like I could take that book and rewrite it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I believe that the information is pertaining to us as a people. Mm -hmm. You know, now, it might be a little twisted up, but I, I do believe that the information is pertaining to us. And the only reason why I said that is because in Galatians 4.24, I think it is, mm -hmm. it says that Abraham, Isaac, Sarah, um, Ishmael, mm -hmm. and Hagar are allegory. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it just makes me think, like, if that's allegory, then they mean something else, and then the Bible tells you what it means. Okay. You I'm know, sure. so that's I'm the sure. reason why it kind of confuses me. Mm -hmm. Or is, is it actually a reality of people, mm -hmm. or um, are they actually allegory? Okay. Now, let me, let, let's, let's clear that up for you and for the listening audience. Mm -hmm. All right, one, I'm going to go first back to what you said about it being plagiarized. And some people believe that. As a matter of fact, a lot of brothers and sisters believe that the book was plagiarized by the so-called white man. Well, I'm going to say this to you. If the so-called white man plagiarized this book, this book right here prophesies his destruction, hmm. his impending slavery, and his impending extinction off the face of the earth. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. This book prophesies about him being the devil that the Bible speaks of, being Satan. It prophesied about him being those things. Now, if he plagiarized it, why would he you write said that, I'm, I'm sorry. You said it, it states that the white man is the devil in the book. That's right. The oh, devil that's is it. Of Satan. Wow. That great red dragon. That's him. Oh, I know that it that's is, him. but I'm just now, saying I never I really, you know. Was, it's, it's a, all that's said. in there. As long as his upcoming slavery and extinction from the face of the earth. That's all in the Bible. That's right. Now, if he plagiarized it and changed things around it, why would he keep that in there? Well, I guess I've always looked at it. If he was there, you could always write about it. Because I always do the time frame back. And mm -hmm. the first Bible, if I'm not mistaken, was written 325 or 375. And it's like 600, that's like 600 years ago, 500 something years ago. And the first printed book, I'm, I'm saying, mm -hmm. printed book. Mm -hmm. And um, if I... If I was there and I'm seeing everything that's going mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. I probably could write about it. Okay. Now, here's the deal. Right. This book called the Bible are scrolls or records of a particular people, right? Mm -hmm. These people are called Hebrew Israelites. And this bike, this book, right? A man named King James, who everybody say was, whatever they said he was from... A uh, uh, white a rapist, or he was homosexual. He was all That's kind of thing. That's the only thing I really heard about. Yeah, I, but you know. all he did and what he did was he had these records mm -hmm. translated. You understand? Because they were oh, written. Oh, he had them translated. He had them translated from Hebrew and Greek and Hebrew to Old Quaker English. That's all. King James did that. That's all he did. Yeah, let me prove it to you. Hold on one second. Let me prove it to you. Cause we I'm, like I'm going to apologize to this one because I didn't bring my books. That's all right. But this That's is right. good. You know, I can remember a little bit of it, but, you know, some things. Mm -hmm. Books written by um, Dr. Walter Williams and mm -hmm. things like that and Dr. Ben and, mm -hmm. and Dr. Ali and many others. <laughs> I understand. But, yeah, well. I understand. Moses Manom or something built. Wrote the books of Moses. Say that again. Moses Mayum or Mayum. But but I guess, you know. My phone. But, but King James is the one that put the two test, the two books together, you right? You got it right. Oh, he that's what he did. That's all he did, sis. That's all he did, huh? That's all he did. He yeah. didn't, he didn't, people say he, you know, he changed things around and. Well, he took and, books out. Yeah, and different things. There's a lot of books Hold missing on. because that's why the Quran came was supposed to clarify what was in the Bible. But that's a whole nother story. I have my. You're right. Quirks on that as well. Just give me one second. Todd, can you read right here 
We in the Zonovan Bible Dictionary, right? Page 121, the King James Version. I want you to read right here, all right? But the groups, they were divided in, all right? They were divided into six groups. Mm -hmm. Meaning King James got some people together, some translators, and got them into different groups. Go ahead. Three for the Old Testament. I mean, he had people who now want to translate the Old Testament, which was written in Hebrew. Have it translated from Hebrew to Old Quaker English. Go ahead. Two for the New Testament. The New Testament as well, because you know the New Testament was written in Hebrew and Greek. Greek was the language of that day during that time. Go ahead. And one for the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha is between the Old Testament and New Testament, which is where we get some of our High Holy Days, one called our Kanaka. That's in between the two. So we had people come together and translate that, them books and bring them into Old Quaker English. That's all he did. That's all he did. And he was, mm -hmm. a, uh, he was against the Catholic Church. It was the good thing. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. That's all. So, yeah. um, when did y'all get started? Uh, who, UPK? Yeah. ISUPK. Is it ISUPK? ISUPK. Yeah. You guys, forgive me. I use UPK because I'm part of it. So, to me, it's always just UPK. But for everybody out there, ISUPK, 1969. 1969. That's correct. That's correct. And you don't see yourself, even though y'all in the same books, you don't see yourself compared to the Christians at all? No. Hmm. Not at all. And you're in the same book, though. That's correct. You know what? I remember reading the Quran once, and the Quran said that um, the, that the Israelites, the Christians, and all will say that they're different, but they're all coming out of the same book. I just don't understand how. Okay. How are you different? No, what no. is it? They, what do they do that's different than you? Is what okay. I'm. All right. Christ said this: so You're gonna know them by their fruits, right? When you look at the Christian church. You look at all the hypocrisy going on in the Christian church. Meaning what? Look at, they talk about how they're godly and how they're about the Lord. You see all the, one, the molestation going on in the Christian church of young men, mm -hmm. of young women in that church. Right. You understand? A lot is going, a lot of people are being brought out in the open for that. You understand? Which is now turning our young men into homosexuals. You understand? Um, our young women into being uh, promiscuous. For the lack of better words, does. yeah, the church do. Yeah. Um, I don't know if the church turns the women into being. I think that they allow people to come into the church um, that are homosexual. Why I do not know, but they do. Let me give when they, the now, Bible truly speaks against it, but they the Bible do. does what? It speaks against it. It does what? It speaks against it, right? Right. So do we. You know why we speak against it? Because the Lord speak against it. That's so right. why did the Christian church accept it? I don't know why the Christian church, maybe they, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I haven't even asked them as to why they yeah, accepted this. Yeah. It is kind of puzzling yeah. to me, but, yeah. you know, so I guess if they don't, they can be sued today. Mm -hmm. No, you can't, because we don't accept it. Well, I don't know. I do know of situations where people have been sued yeah, we don't, for, we don't for discrimination. It. I mean, I know you've heard mm -hmm. about that type of thing, right? Yeah, but well, we don't accept People have been sued for discrimination. We don't, we don't for not allowing the homosexuals to come in certain places. Let me say this to you. A homosexual can come into our school, but well, that's no problem. But when he comes to school, he stay, he's not going, or he or she is not going to stay a homosexual. That's right. They're going to learn how to change, change their change lives. That. That's correct. We have had people come to the school, Who, they have changed their lives, and now do what the Lord say do. And the reason why is because the Bible states it. That's right. Not that's from right. what we say or what we think, but from what the Lord says. You understand? The difference between us and the Christian church is that it's one word that I like to use, it's called hypocrisy or hypocrites. You can talk one thing, and you can say one thing, but if you ain't living it, then that makes you what? The hypocrite. That what? makes what you teach full of what? Hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. what, we, what we read in here, when we teach people, is what we live. You understand? I'm and not going to tell you. And you really believe in your heart that it comes from the Lord. That's correct. The reason is because this book right here, you can take this book right here and relate it to today's time right now. You everything know, in here, everything I've to the all, time. Because it keeps happening over and over and over again, the same thing over and over. I think us as a people just have not changed ourselves. And that's the reason why it just keeps happening over and over and over again. I don't look at it as being prophecies. I just look at it as being unchanged. Let me ask you this question, sis. In your eyes, what will we have to do to change? Since well, we said we are not I think we should what separate. We I think we should separate ourselves um, from whomever we think is our enemy or whoever we feel is our enemy. I feel as though that we should just separate ourselves from them. 
We should stop shopping in their stores. It may be a little difficult, but we should stop, you know, start our own companies, our own banks, our own growing our own food. A lot of things we should just leave them alone. Now, what you I mean, that's said, just me personally. I, I tell you, and a lot of black people feel that way. But what you said is in the Bible. For us to do as a people. Yeah, I, I just, I believe that, um, you know, we, we should just separate ourselves from mm -hmm. them. We, nothing as good has happened, but I just don't, me personally, what I believe is that whatever you gave me in slavery, you can have back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, you know, they gave us Jesus in slavery. They gave us their God in slavery. They gave us all these stories in slavery that I feel as though that they, they plagiarized. I mean, I, I, I feel as though that they stole the stories. Now, they don't have they don't have a soul. How could they how could they have made that? Now, when you say they, you're talking about our the so called white man. I'm talking about our enemy. All right. That's who our enemy is. The Lord said in the Bible he's our enemy. Okay. And that we be sold to our enemy on slave ships and auction blocks. That's mm -hmm. in the Bible. Yes so it is. Let's make it clear that the so called white man, he saw in the Bible, he's our enemy. Now what you said is correct, the Lord said about separate. You understand? Mm. Meaning get ourselves out from under him and come together as a people now. One thing that's not going to happen, and the Lord has shown us over and over again, that we can't separate and come together unless we come together first. Right, and I, I, you know I do understand like it's, that. It's, it's a lot of different philosophies and doctrines out here right. that's prevalent. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of I say so-called knowledge, but with all this going on, why can't we come together? Well... I think it's um, just mental trauma. We've been trauma traumatized. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we don't have the, the correct frame. We're not in the right, correct frame of mind because mm -hmm. of what took place in slavery. Mm -hmm. Our positions have been reversed. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a lot of reasons why, but all of it is due to the treatment of slavery. Mm -hmm. now, you know what I mean? That's correct. The Bible states about the son of perdition being revealed. Or he's been revealed as a so-called white man now. You made a comment about slavery and how they gave us their Jesus and made some things up in slavery, right? What you're saying is correct on this level because the image that they push around the earth and that image of what you have in the churches today of the white Jesus, all that happened during the Renaissance era, meaning they came into power after being out of power for so long in Europe. and. Pope Rodrigo Borgia commissioned Michelangelo to go all across the earth in a whitewash pictures, in a whitewash paintings. He took the prophets and the images of Christ and the prophets of being black men, which goes along with the Bible, mm -hmm. to being white people. I'm not and when they did that, that, I'm saying I'm a do. I yeah, say I do. When they did that, that came back here, that followed us into slavery, and which is why our people believe that. That's what comes along with, Christ, with, with the Bible and with Christianity. And, that um, image reflects the knowledge they teach. I can agree to that. I really can. I, I can see what you're saying because we see Jesus all the time. I don't, I don't believe that the, there was ever a man that ever walked the face of the earth by the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. but I do believe that there are people that walk the face of the earth that fits the category of Jesus. Mm -hmm. No, no, I don't believe that it was somebody that walked on water. I do believe that those stories came from um like because the sun trickles down and walks on water as you win you know mm -hmm. um the bible speaks on god being the sun actually as you win but um as far as a man that that um was speaking to two people and it turned into i think five thousand people jesus mm -hmm. supposed to 500 people or something no he's in not the, bible. the people meaning he he, he he was able to feed people no, I, feed, feed food for knowledge, food. not food, actual food. Mm -hmm. It's food for knowledge. The Bible is not a literal book. It's a symbolic book. You can't read it literal because it would make no sense. It would sound like a cartoon book. What I'm saying is it is a, a, a symbolic book. He made the blind man see, meaning somebody that was walking around with no knowledge of self, and he gave them knowledge in order to um, but open the sea like, oh, wow, I never looked at it like, what, like that, that type of thing. Not that he made the blind man see. No, that's not necessarily true. That's give, me, give me the scripture in the book of John. We are talking about the blind man from the birth. Come on, cross. You know, is it John 7? Uh, is it the same story? Is it the same uh, yeah. story we're talking about? Yes, Matthew's? It no, it's, I believe it's, you know, it's, it's the one story. in Matthew's, but it's also one, too, in John um, that speak about it. 
Nine and this one. man born blind. Yeah, yeah, you got it. John nine and one. But we, it's not the same story though, is it? Yeah, it is. Hold on. Okay. You got it. So, yeah, read this right here. I think this is it right here. Read that. John nine one two and three. John chapter nine verse one, and Jesus passed by. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. Which was what? Blind from his birth. Now, he said he was blind from his birth, meaning he was born blind. This man was born blind. It didn't Without say no he, knowledge of self no, no, it didn't say that. A lot that. of black people are like that. You don't but agree? It, it didn't say. But you not. don't agree that people are blind from birth? They, you said you're, you're here to tell them who they are. Yeah, that's true. So you but don't here, see them being blind? It, they, are, they are blind. Mm -hmm. I mean, they lack the knowledge of the Lord. But this here is saying he's blind from birth. It can only mean one thing. He came out not being able to see. Let, let him finish. Go ahead. What he say? And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents? Why did they ask him who did sin, meaning this? They know that if you commit a sin, you get paid for that sin back here on earth. That myth of heaven and hell is a myth. It's not real. You payment for what you did right is right here on earth. And, you and see your payment for what you did wrong is right here on earth. So they're saying, who did sin? Did this man sin? Or did his parents sin? Mm -hmm. Because we pay for what our forefathers have done as well. Mm -hmm. So they ask him first, who did sin his parents? Meaning if his parents did something wrong, it trickled down to that baby, where the baby mm -hmm. suffered because of what their parents did. Or if it's him, meaning he did something wrong in the life before. Or it could be that the parents, the parents sinned by not telling him the information. So from birth, he didn't even know. It's like as if but, Jesus was but talking you, you to him. What you just said. You said if his parents didn't tell him information, how can they tell him information if he's in a womb? From birth. From birth. They should have been telling him knowledge of self. But from birth, he was blind. By the time he came outside of his mother, he could not see. I guess he couldn't if they didn't give him no information. I'm just saying there's other ways you could look at it. You, 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 don't, you don't have to just look at it in one way. I'm saying even though that you're saying he was blind from birth. Right. I was blind from birth because I didn't have the information or the knowledge that I have now. So now that I have the information, my eyes are open. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't look at Jesus probably as you do. I look at mm -hmm. Jesus as justice. I look at Jesus actually plural. Um, I look at like, uh, for instance, I could use Khalid Muhammad mm -hmm. or, G or um, excuse me, Malcolm X, mm -hmm. or somebody that gave us information that we didn't have. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just looking at, I can look at it a different way. I don't I always look at it. Okay. But let's go back over this one more time. Go ahead and read, brother. Who did sin, mm -hmm. this man or his parents, mm -hmm. that he was... Now, I, I explained to everybody out there when it says who did sin. Why, why are the disciples asking Christ, who was the one who sinned? Was it the mother or was it the father? Or was it the son? Go ahead. That he was born blind. That he was born blind, meaning he couldn't see. Coming out of his mom's womb. I meaning he literally couldn't see. Go ahead. Jesus answered, Neither have this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Meaning the what? The what? The works of God. In the works of the Most High be manifest in this man right here. Why did why Christ saying that? Because that man who was born blind, Christ healed him so he can see. Those works that the most eyes they talk about right there is okay. to show that sure to I show can. that Christ is the one who the Lord sent on this earth. You understand? With that power to heal people, you understand? To heal the nation of Israel. You understand? To make those works clear. So it's letting you know that yeah, he was blind. Yeah, Christ did heal him of his blind. They didn't say Christ told him. They didn't say that. They didn't tell him he gave him knowledge himself. It said he healed his, his blindness. Mm -hmm. You understand? To make also. Christ manifest. I mean, make it clear that this is the one who the Lord sent, who was prophesied to come in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. All right? I thought it was somewhere in there where Jesus was saying that the one that he had already came, Emmanuel, and um, something about um, John the Baptist mm -hmm. was Emmanuel, and it's somewhere in the, in the, in the book as well. And Isaiah but, talked about Emmanuel, John the Baptist, prophesied about Christ coming. Mm -hmm. He paved the way for, for Yahweh Shah to come. Mm -hmm. That was his point, that was his purpose, to get everybody ready for Christ's return. So you believe that if, if we go by this book, that everybody will be on the right path? I, I not only do I believe it, I live it. Meaning this, meaning, okay, let me give you an example. 
before the truth, and mo most like most brothers and sisters, they come to the truth before then. We living in we living out here in society, going about our daily lives, and any black person when they feel about black people, gonna see the destruction about us, right? Mm -hmm. Gonna see how we dying or whatever, right? But everybody is too afraid to really go to the root of the problem. Not gonna say everybody, but some 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 are not. Like how you said to separate. Most people don't want to separate. They want to stay right where they at. Out of fear, which is out of fear. Yeah, out of fear. Now, and they don't want to know really truly who they are. There's different schools of thought out here, as far as philosophies and doctrines, on how to change the life or change things going on. But I haven't seen one change a brother's life or a sister's life like I have the Bible. Let me give you an example. What's prevalent amongst us as a people that's going on amongst black people today in America? We are dying at a very alarming rate. Uh -huh. We have no brotherhood at all amongst our people. No. Even though we talk about it, even though these schools of thought may try to bring it up, it's not reflected on how we live and <laughs> where we live, right? But when I look at that Bible and that scriptures, and follow examples of Christ that we've been taught by Commander John Yohanna, the first thing and the greatest thing that we've been taught by Commander John Yohanna is this, that they're gonna know you disciples of Christ by how you treat one another. You understand? Know by how you're gonna take care of one another, how you're gonna love another brother or sister. I might love that brother so much that I wanna see him hurt or harm. You know what? That's my brother. I would give him before I take for myself. You understand? Know my brothers and my brothers, I would not want to deal with his, his woman who may be flirting with me. And like, listen, I'm not gonna deal with her. That man is my brother. You know what I mean? I check her on what she's doing. Mm -hmm. You will put your brother above yourself, which is what we do in the ISUPK. So you want that? for your brother or you want for your sister what you want for yourself? And I want them to have more than what I have. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's how we're gonna build this nation. That's right. Because right now everybody's saying, well, it's all about, you know, they, they holler about the Lord and Christ and God or, or whatever power they serve, but reality, to be real, it's a lot of selfishness going on. Oh yeah, I agree with you. you a lot that? of selfishness. I, I just was telling um, someone, y'all, this is with this election that we just had recently. Mm -hmm. You played all the parts of the bad people in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You had um, the temptation from the devil. Mm -hmm. You had um, the denial. Mm -hmm. You had the snake, mm -hmm. and you had Judas. Mm -hmm. Y'all played all the parts. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that the book um, is a good book as far as advice is concerned. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I come from an Islamic background as well as Christian background. Mm -hmm. And I also think that Islam has a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? At every school of thought that I have been through, mm -hmm. I feel as though that the teachings that I got from um, the Nuwabian nation had wonderful things. The teaching that I have from uh, the Nation of Islam had wonderful things to offer. And uh, uh, again, the, um, I think that they're, I look at them now, religion, and the way these different people don't say they're religions, but I look at them as tribes. Mm -hmm. And I believe that nature wants us all to come together as one. Mm -hmm. This is the way I look at it. I don't believe in um, spook stuff. I, 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 you know, I look at my ancestors as my angels. I look at, I don't believe in, um, what you would say, I look at God the same way I would possibly look at uh, Santa Claus. Knows when you've been sleeping, knows when you're awake, knows when you've been good or bad, so be good for goodness sake. You up in heaven, he's in the North Pole, you got angels flying and helping you out. He got uh, elves helping him out. You know, mm -hmm. I don't look at, I think it's a, a disrespect for something we can't even comprehend mm -hmm. to give it a, 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 a name. It's such a, it's something we can't even mentally comprehend but we keep putting this God he and he's pronoun for a man and the balance of life is not there uh, there's no mom you know you mm -hmm. cannot have a, a he without a she you the balance it makes absolutely mentally no sense I've mm -hmm. never understood mm -hmm. it uh, I'm not gonna say how old I am but mm -hmm. in all these years I've never understood that how can mm -hmm. you have a he without a she and um mm -hmm. A, a lot of it, um, even to have a God that we 
have um, screamed for many of days and many of nights that don't come to your rescue. And why is why is it that only one people, your so-called special people, are held in such bondage? Or I mean, I can kind of see it a little bit why we would be punished. You know, we have recreated the creation of nature. That's the number one. Um, um, and we have started worshiping man. I'm sorry. And okay. in Deuteronomy, it does say that we started worshiping wood and stone, and I do see the wood as being a cross, and I do see the stone as being the Kaaba, personally. Now, Perfect. I'm going to say personally. Perfect. What I'm saying is I can see why we would be punished because we started putting our trust in man and not in nature, not in uh, we, we don't give praise anymore to the, to the skies and the clouds for sending us rain, to the mm -hmm. sea for giving us fish mm -hmm. for the trees for giving us plants and fruits mm -hmm. we don't we things that kept us nourished we don't mm -hmm. give the sun the, the the most thing that gives us life mm -hmm. the sun we give no praise to the sun mm -hmm. but we give man that does the same thing we do mm -hmm. all this grace mm -hmm. that 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 bothers me okay because I, I think it's a disrespect okay now you touched on some very good things right I'm going to try to replay back what you said. I'm going to go back to the first thing you said um, about mm -hmm. uh, about the whole voting thing, right? The what? You said voting. Well, about it how was the election. Yeah, and the I election. I feel as though that yeah. people play the different parts of the Bible. That's why I say the Bible um, is, is, is a good source of, um, it just, it kind of. Um, but do you know the Bible states that we should not be voting? I don't know why not, why I would say that. Uh, because. because let me let me give it to you. Give me Deuteronomy 17 to 5. You got it? We're talking about We're talking about voting. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And uh, did y'all want to take a break half time? Uh whenever you're ready, sis. Whenever you're ready. And then come back in. It would be fun. Whenever you're ready. I'm sorry, brother. 17 to 15. Oh, okay. Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 15. Mm-hmm. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, mm -hmm. whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Now, these people in the book of Deuteronomy are the ones who left Egypt with Moses. These are all the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. And the book of Deuteronomy is laws and statutes that God gave us to follow. And the Lord is saying, don't put nobody over you that the Lord didn't choose. You understand? The voting process, the process they have here in a land called America, has not benefited us, not one iota. We went from being segregated to having our own to being integrated now, and we are now more destroyed mm -hmm. with death, with murder, with diseases, lack of jobs. Our, our neighborhoods look like, look like war zones. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right into the trap. When we integrated. So the Lord is saying, read it again from the top, brother. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy power shall choose, mm -hmm. one from among thy brethren shall thou set king over thee. I Meaning that that person who's gonna be the king over us is gonna come from us. You right. understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be from us, gonna be from our lineage, not another nation. You understand? Not another people. You understand? The black man and the white man are two different people. You know, we're two different oh, races. So why are we voting in his system that has not benefited us when the Lord said don't do it? Well, you understand? in order for us not to do it, then we must separate. Yeah. Because if we are stuck in the system, then we have no other choice but to vote. No, we don't. It, yeah. Listen listen to what I'm saying. Go ahead. By us not voting, when something does happen, we, at that point, cannot blame anybody but ourselves. You know what because it does? Because we, we have to realize that we are, at this point, not in a, a group um, a, away from them. We're still in the system. Mm -hmm. So we have to do something to help ourselves. Other than that, we're just laying down. But let me say this to you. If we don't vote, and things happen, you know what it do? It forced us to come together. That's what just happened to us. It forced us to come together. So it is in our benefit not to vote. You know why? It's gonna make us now come together. We do need and to not come depend together. on no other people, no other race, but depend on ourselves. We got every resource in the ghetto for us to survive. Every resource. Mm -hmm. We got the brothers, they can be our military. Yeah. You understand? I agree. The sisters. They can cook. They can cook and have restaurants. All kinds of things going on. I the agree. houses we can all fix up. I we agree. have everything we need to survive. 
So why do we got to survive off another people and what they say? We can do it ourselves. I said we should separate, though. Yeah, that's what I'm talking so about. So I'm agreeing that's what with you about. That's with that. About. that that's that's right. making sense. That's right. That All is right. making a lot of sense. Um, so you said you want to take a break? Um, on halftime, I want us to take a break. I don't know if we went past the halftime. <laughs> we may have. Okay, listening audience, we are back. I'm your host, Sister Freedom, and I have ISUPK here. That's and right. I'm excited. That's right. I'm That's so fine. glad right. we're having a quiet mm -hmm. interview. But I do want to ask you something Come now. On. Come on. And this is about, uh, now we're going to, we only got a little bit of time left, so mm -hmm. let's get into the meat of things. Let's get into the meat. Why is it always controversy when y'all are in public with, with others? trying to get them to understand what you're saying. Why is it controversy all the time? Because it's the truth, right? And when you are speaking the truth, it's going against the very fabric of the society which they have built in a land called America. You understand? We're going against the very fabric of it through what the Lord gave us in our ICBK under Commander General Yohanna. So it's going to be controversy. They're not going to want to agree with us. They're not going to want to see it. And the Bible clearly states that the ones who will cause us the most controversy will be your own people. But but what I'm saying is um, it might be your delivery as well. Because if someone doesn't understand what you're doing, and, and okay, for instance, the Sabbath, mm -hmm. okay, as I stated, my mother's Seventh-day Adventist, mm -hmm. okay, on the Sabbath, um, you know, most of the time, I'm not used to people doing anything. Not even getting on the telephone. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No shopping, no nothing. Everything is done before the Sabbath come in. Mm -hmm. And to ask about the Sabbath, y'all gave another reason. You, you're like you were saying that um, you don't have to be in on the Sabbath. You don't have to be quiet and laid back on the Sabbath. Okay. It's easy to answer. And I'm going to paraphrase two scriptures. One of the book of Exodus, the 20th chapter, where it says the Sabbath is a day given to us for rest. Right. You know what I'm rest from work. From, from work. Now, when you work, you get paid for working, right? Serve our work, right? Okay. Now, Christ said in the book of Matthew, the 12th chapter, when he was questioning about his disciples picking corn on the Sabbath and eating, right? And Christ told them, well, they're doing the work of the Lord, which is the priestly duties in the Bible. The priests in the Bible are allowed to do the work of the Lord on the Sabbath because they're doing the work of the Lord. When we are out there teaching on, a, on the Sabbath, we are doing the work of the Lord. You understand? Teaching the Lord's chosen people. But why do you, you call it teaching? That, because it is. A, but it's a way to teach, and then it's a way to sound defensive. Mm -hmm. 
So how do you expect somebody to feel you and understand you and mm -hmm. try to be a part of you mm -hmm. if you're yelling and screaming at them? You know why? You know how? And I'm going to say it's a problem with my brothers. Because if they sit back and listen, then they get the information. That's right. I'm going to tell you why I don't sit back and listen. Because today's society have turned brothers from being men who are hardcore and can deal and men of war to being very emotional. That's right. Brothers get upset because they're emotional. Now, I expect sisters to get upset because sisters are naturally emotional. Some things they hear, they ain't going to want to like or understand. They get emotional. I understand that part there. But men should not be emotional. Men should sit back and decipher what's being said. You understand? Without emotions. The controversy comes because of emotions. You understand? Right, but it's, it, it seems like it's coming from something that you're saying. But I what we're saying mm -hmm. comes from the Bible. Like, I don't go out there and say nothing how I feel. I go out there and tell you what the Lord says. No, but you, it sounds like you're going and interpreting what you feel as though that's being said in that book. And I'm, again, not going to say that the Lord is saying it because it, 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 it just it sounds like a disrespect to me. Now, you might say. No, tell me why. I said to me because I look at you. I've seen where they call people Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't want to call something I can't even comprehend. I'm not going to give it a gender. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give it a, a Lord or a God, you know, because it, it's, it's disrespectful as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. And I will, and, and, and really and truly, you know, we can't even comprehend as to why we're here except through our parents. I mean, so, you know, it just... You know, that 55, 8, 10. Now... You can, give, you can give me that, but I'm still saying that no, book you. was written by yeah. man. That's correct. It like all the rest of them were. It's you know what I mean? And correct. I can't comprehend what I cannot comprehend. The only mm -hmm. thing I can comprehend is what I see, and that's the sun and Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, you know, okay. that's just how I feel. Because, I, I mean, if there's a uh, God or a Most High, I think the slaves, you know, you ask the slaves, I don't think they would have agreed to it. I mean, <laughs> you know, you, you, you being beat, you being yeah. tortured, and... Mm -hmm. You're trying to say, well, look, if my parents did that or my forefathers did something, don't blame me. You you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I got you. I'm going to take you back on what you said. Just to answer a couple of things. One, when you brought up about, um, I asked you, when I asked you about how do you feel about it, and I asked you that for a reason, because when you go into you or how you feel, it's about what's good and dear and personal to you your concept and your feelings, right? right? Now, the big problem we run into is when we go into how we feel or what we want or how we want things to be. And we gotta understand something. Our Lord and power don't go off of how we feel or what we think. He go off of, you gotta do what I say do. And if not, there's a repercussion. Much like if you have your child. If you tell your child to be home at a certain time and they're not there because they did what they wanted to do, what comes next from you? I understand what you're saying. Well, I, I a don't. punishment. Right, some form right. of punishment. Some form of punishment, right, from you. Our Father, Lord in heaven, same exact way. He wants us to do what he say do. Because by doing what he say do is what's going to give us life versus the death of we living. Read it from Isaiah 55, uh, 8. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8. Mm -hmm. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Meaning the most high are not thinking how we think. You know what I mean? Which is why it cuts to the heart of you and your and me and my you understand go ahead neither are your ways my ways meaning the way we want to do things the way we think about things okay. are not the lowest ways go ahead say if the most high go ahead for as the heaven the heavens are higher than the earth go ahead. so are my ways higher than your ways meaning the lowest ways are higher than ours so we can't even begin to say well i think this or i think that you understand it's got to be what the lord says and what the lord want for us as a people, that's what we have to do. You okay. understand? And I understand what you're saying. Right. And, I, and like I said, I do, I'm personally saying, I do believe that the Bible does have things in it that are good for us, especially mm -hmm. if you took it from somewhere else. So you're just repeating mm -hmm. the same thing that they mm -hmm. said. Because, I, you know, I know about the 42 negative confessions and, you know, things that came from Kemet. So, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm, I just look at, things maybe a little different than you do. I'm just saying a controversy. Yeah, good, good. Calling good. women names. Not saying you did. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I've heard some group, some groups disrespecting, you know, disrespecting um, the sisters. Dis and, 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 and it does, it, it does make it emotional, 
reaction. Mm -hmm. Why does that have to be? Hold on one second. You want to say something, brother? Go ahead. Go ahead. Since, since that's freedom, I did want to ask you all one thing, a few things that you said. I want to ask you a question as well. You had said um, that you don't, don't respect something that you don't know about, and how could you call it something Lord that you can't perceive or overstand, I believe you put it, right? So my question, you said you're going to only understand or believe what you see. You said you only see the sun and mother nature. Um, of course, actions and things that come so, with so nature. My question now is, what, what is the main action you see going on in the black community right now among us? The main action. Well, we don't have unity. That's number one. I see killing. Kill, I see that the I black could. men don't have no jobs. Killing from who? The enemy, of course. Now, and ourselves. Now, I'll take this. Sister Frida, you said killing from the enemy, which to us is the white man, the police department in America, murdering young black men yes. with no warrant. Mm -hmm. Now, what if I told you, Sister Frida, that the Lord deserves your respect because in this Bible we can show you where the Lord said they, they, they will hunt our steps and murder us and slay us in the streets today. And, we, and, and now you can respect that because you see it every day with your own eyes. I'm not saying that you cannot show me that because I believe that it's happened before. I believe that everything that's happening now, even with the amount of the young boys that are being killed, see, I'm a very spiritual person. So I think of things um, differently. You know, um, there was a time during, supposed to be in the, in the Bible of Jesus' time, where all the boys were being killed. That's one era. Then in Moses' time, all the boys were being killed. That's another era. Now we're in another area, which now we're in the age of Aquarius, and all the boys are being killed again. I mean, it's like it just keeps uh, a cycle of keep happening over and over again. That doesn't mean that what you're, I'm not saying that what you're saying is incorrect, because I can see where it can make some form of sense. But see, me personally, I'm not giving an agenda what I, to what I cannot comprehend. Okay. You well, know, you're, that's all, that's the only thing that I'm saying. I don't want to disrespect the mm -hmm. most high that's what i'm saying i'm not giving it a gender i'm not saying he um i'm just saying because i can look at you and see and the, as i look at it you're a god well, let, you see well what let, I'm me, saying? let me ask you this I, I completely understand what you're saying my freedom but if you say you it's can't free. call it a he freedom i'm sorry how could you say mother nature there's no one that stated that there's a mother of nature that's just something that society yeah. has put in place to say that the creator of nature is a mother when that's not even concrete evidence like you saying that the bible is not concrete well, evidence. Uh, do you know of any man that produces life oh yes what you're looking at one uh, you don't produce life honey. Oh, oh indeed no you make freedom, life you but the creation happens in the womb of the woman can it happen without me humbling you well i don't want to get into a scientific back and okay. forth thing could i we know that could we i read the scripture sure you can but what i'm saying is when I say mother nature, it's because mm -hmm. we look at the world as womb, as the womb, okay? As the Bible said, do not um, disrespect the womb that bore you, okay? So I can look at it as either mother or the earth. The earth has a womb, mother nature. She's letting everything, like the sun gives energy to, to the world, and mother nature, she's growing everything on the planet is what I'm saying. Once again, I That's understand. why I'm saying I look at it as balance. I never look at it as one. It's balanced. Most high means it could be he, she, or she, he, but it's balanced. It's never um, he. Because it would make no sense, you know, it would make no sense to have he without she. I understand what that's, you're saying. That's what I'm saying. It's, I'm just trying the not point, to The point I always try to bring out, Sister Freedom, is that there's no evidence of the philosophy of Mother Nature, just like you're saying, like you're saying that there's no evidence that God is the Father. What I'm saying to you, Sister Frida, is that we go through these scriptures in the eyes should be K mm -hmm. under command of Jerry and Hannah, and teach black people in these streets that the evidence for our suffering, the evidence for the black woman aborting children in the black community, our drug depression, our oppression. You don't think nature does that too? She the aborts the evidence of why it happens is in the Bible. The evidence is not. And, and another thing is that the Bible is real science. The Bible is real, accurate science. Okay. Not what you get in textbooks in schools, but mm -hmm. 
science in the Bible proves um, what goes on in the atmosphere and the earth and things like that. But what I'm trying to get the point over right. to you is that the scriptures and, and, and prophecies. And I'm not trying to take any position no, from the male species. I understand that. I not understand at that. all. What I'm saying is that these scriptures prove who we are and what's going on and prove that the Bible is a real book. It cannot be debated or refuted. Why do you keep saying under General Yohanna, you just read to me that you're not supposed to vote or put anybody higher than you that's on your level? But Because General Yohanna is the head of the ISUBK and the head of the whole nation of Israel. That's right. And the reason being is that, you know, the he Lord... He's over top of everybody. That's, because he, I would never be able to uh, see it that way because he's... Because of what? Because he's, he's a man? The same, no, because he's the same as I am. You just read that. Didn't you just say now, that? I, I'm going to say this to you. He's not the same as all of us. I'm going to tell you why. Please. People try to say, well, different things about that. But in reality, this is one man who, when the truth was attacked and fell, and lies started to try to overcome the truth, he's one man who stood strong for the truth and didn't let it go Have you and ever, held on to uh -huh. it. And because he held on to what was originally taught to him mm -hmm. by the men who started the ISUBK, mm -hmm. when everybody else fell, made him be the head of the nation because everybody fell. Everybody fell out of their place. Have now, you? the Bible so speaks about, like minutes, okay, the Bible speaks about Christ told Peter, you're going to be the rock on whom I build this church when I leave. He told Peter, I occupy till I come, meaning you occupy, you're going to stand this ground. You're going to hold this ground. And you're going to stand strong on what I give you until he returns. You understand? And by doing that, I mean, we're going to occupy, and we're going to hold this ground, and we're going to organize. We're going to come together, and we're going to build the nation how Christ ever to be built that's until right. he returns. And that's, that's right. what Commander General Yohannes is doing for us. He's the one who's standing there. He's still strong in it. He organizes, giving direction, having things done. You understand that? You're going to honor and respect for doing that. And he's the well, head of the nation. We're going to have to have a part two. Because I, I want to know, um, have you ever studied Islam? Because it's a beautiful way of life. You ever studied it? Okay. You ever got into it? I'm going to say this to you. I have a lot of family that's in Islam. No, you personally yourself. I have any, not, any other teachings? I've, I have not studied Islam. Mm -hmm. I know of it. Mm -hmm. But here's the reason why I don't. One, the Lord said for us not to do it. And two, I think Islam is a super great religion mm -hmm. for people who are of the Arab people. Mm -hmm. Not for black, not for Hispanic and Native Indians. You understand me? Because I'm going to say this to you. While we think Islam is the right way to go, or it's a good way, you look at it by their works. So I'm going to keep saying it to you. Look at what's going on. The reason why I said my family, a lot of them is into Islam, is because my family was into Islam are drug dealers, they are murderers, and they are killers. Well, like, I'm sorry for interrupting you again, but we're going to have to have a part two. Because um, it was some more questions I wanted to ask you that I didn't get the opportunity to ask you tonight. Mm -hmm. And I hope we get an opportunity to do us to, to do this again very oh, you soon. you got to do us better. Okay. And, um, again, I'm your host, Sister Freedom, and I enjoyed this session with ISUPK. I do want to do this again, and you can see them every Saturday from what time? From 1 to 4. In front of Rodney Square. In front of Rodney Square on Saturdays. All right? And they'll be nice to you. If not, call me. I'll give you all my phone number. All right, Now, this peace. Saturday, we won't be there because we have a high holy day that we're going to celebrate in Philadelphia. So we're not going to be there this week. Okay. All right? Okay. Well, right. I hope you all got that information. Peace. I enjoyed it. Okay. So do we. All right. Peace. Y'all have a good night.